Hello my, my friends, this is Inside Out Electronic Channel and Uncle Misha with you and today we are going to make something useful with this uh, dimmer. So this dimmer, this dimmer, alright? So stay tuned and we will make something cool. So right, so what would we need to make this uh, dimmable box work? Obviously we need dimmer. So in this particular case I have this one. It can be any other dimmer because all of them would have a uh, four wires like this then we would have to have a outlet so this is power outlet standard north american power outlet and um, this obviously this video on, will be a re revolved around north american standards all uh, sizing and holes and things like that and wiring gonna be obviously north american but for the other parts of the world where you use different devices different uh, standards you have to adapt it so in this case we have standard outlet yeah it's a bit weird here because i thought i may use some old lamps and uh, old sockets but uh old power plugs i meant to say but you know might be useful obviously then we need some some like uh, connectors like this which would connect our wires together so we clear this is I uh, decided to use this for grounding so I'm gonna crimp it like that and I would be able to uh, use it for grounding I will do that also I have prepared this so this is standard a socket where you standard where your standard utility cable can be connected so that's mean I will make this portable obviously you have to have a case so i 3d printed designed and 3d printed this case so it has two positions for one and uh, for outlet and for dimmer right here obviously i'll have i made also this black which is very hard to show you faceplate okay so it's this gonna go here and the dimmer gonna go here so of course this design specifically for the rectangular cutout of they call it designer rocker switch and that can be pretty much any device i think even this will go here ah uh, oh yeah yeah it, technically it can go here as well it looks ugly though but so so this is the idea so let's just uh, assemble everything together but before we assemble i want to explain my wiring specifically why do i need two of each uh, wires here so we have a piece of wire paper here and let's just draw something so we have our outlet we have our power plug sorry this is the outlet uh, this here so this is ground so then we have our power outlet sorry that's like this like this and this 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 and this and here our dimmer our dimmer up down dimmer has four wires three is important another is ground each of these guys has on ground All right. so now we have life and neutral here so two uh, two of each of course let's let's draw like this okay so this is gonna be line in this is gonna be neutral this is gonna be line out so line out clearly goes to for example this top one so line in connects to like this guy so this i want to have uh, to be uh, not dimmable so this connects here and neutral because the neutral over here can be paralleled this one has to be separated obviously so because this is going to be parallel we're going to connect neutral here and another neutral going to be going here that's pretty much it and all grounds gonna be connected together well and this power out, um, uh, outlet it's already connected in in the chassis here in the case but uh, other units will be connected by together with this wire and with this wire so those are ground wires all right so let's start assembling first of all before assembling everything together you have to strip uh, those wires and before we start assembling we have to place them like that so let's just quickly do it here's my favorite uh, wire strippers they clearly too big for this task but I think they will do because I don't have small wire strippers specifically designed for electrical works well I do but they are super chintzy so this will work nicely. Maybe I have to be, make it a bit bigger. Yeah. 
so I think that's pretty much it I would need not need to use any of those anymore so now you have to fish it through this hole I hope the sizing is correct because I actually haven't tried it well seems to be looking good black on black though like I should have used some other nicer colors okay so now let's wire together the thing so one a live should go to the dimmer ground I will do the very last it's ghost together like this I'm gonna use one of these things to secure it okay then another gonna go right here so this is our hot so this has to be right here this has to be split I'm gonna use my side cutters to oh wow that's really tough of course because this has to carry some serious okay I use pliers and just wiggle 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 Ta-da! Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So I'm gonna cut it short a little bit. Just like that and screw. Alright. So this one gonna be this one gonna be not dimmable. Now this guy gonna come in here and this is gonna be dimmable part oh my god this is not cooperating okay now it's cooperating so this is our hot part is already wired now this is okay, let's uh, use a bit longer one right here so this is gonna be our neutral. So now we have to wire our neutral which over here together with this parallel connection. So we have to do this. Maybe we're gonna shorten it a little bit. Just like that. And shove into one of those two because they are paralleled. Okay, so now we have all this wired. So what's left is our grounds. So grounds. So I will use this post as a, as a ground point. So I'm gonna use those two. And I have this mega pliers in order to. Um, oh, yeah, that has a wire strip right here. Okay, this is secured and another one. And there's this. This one's secured as well. Okay. Okay, let's just wire everything together okay so this gonna be going in no like not like this it's gonna be going like this this one gonna be going like that so essentially it's gonna be like grounding point okay so we're gonna screw first this guy then we're gonna put this one where it's supposed to be
So I've nicely assembled uh, all those two uh, outlets. And now let's just put this um, basil or frame or whatever you call it back when it's supposed to be nice and snug. Oh yeah, very important thing. So I had to bend those. Uh, flaps or wings or whoever uh, whatever it is because they're not to be they hitting this uh, kind of bevel over here and uh, they doesn't fit properly so when we bend it down yeah so yeah I would I'm able to properly fit all this stuff so right and now when I put this, those bolts in those nice and beautiful white bolts and we can proceed to testing after I finish this, this screwing. Right. It's very easy, it fits very well. Let's me finish it and we continue. So here is a Lidare light bulb. This is old Lidare I call it because I don't think they are selling those anymore. So let's just... Uh, Yeah, this is a little bit more dimmable. You see, it, it's actually glowing. But it's warm glow. That's proper dimmability for you. So now obviously it would be very nice and interesting to check how good is those light bulbs, how if they flicker or not and things like that and dif di different dimmability options. Um, this particular uh, dimmer has also a um, pure sensor, but obviously doesn't make any like doesn't make any sense in my particular uh, test. Uh, but it's just good to have. I still have like several of them because I bought they were like three or four dollars. I just you know decided to snag all of them, and I think this is useful for a little beast around the house. I may even use them, especially the um, presence of pure. What do they do? Presence, I would probably press the button. Presence of pure sensor is actually quite useful because if you forgot your light, it will gonna shut it down after 30 minutes by default if you're not connected to anything and then don't change the settings. But otherwise, if you, you would be able to connect your home kit, Apple home kit thingy, uh, and you would be able to set the different values for that. So, let's just shut it down. Power and remove all this. And we can talk about this beast, our guy. So I did create, design completely this box. So I can share it uh, with you. For sure, if you have any interest, obviously I'm gonna share it. Uh, I did not create top. So that was customizable um, uh, thing, uh, thing on Thingiverse. Uh, I, I just downloaded SCAD file and uh, designed for my specific use case. Um, this you can s snatch from any uh, old power supply. I just used this from busted computer power supply. Yeah, very handy. Uh, this made of uh, PETG uh, plastic. So this has to be a little bit better for this sort of purpose. It's more temperature. I'm not sure um, how high voltage isolation is good or not that's yeah whatever uh, but temperature wise this is gonna be a more uh, temperature proof than P PLA so this is black PETG I think black looking good but honestly now I just realized that it's so black this particular material that if I put it on a, sh on a dark shelf I may not even find it so hence I have this white screws it's actually looking good so guys, I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, I thought I hope this was interesting, and uh, now I have a very interesting tool in my uh, toolbox when I can test different light bulbs how they handle dimmability, and this to check flicker and color when they are dimmed. And if you wanna reproduce it be my guest i'll be happy if that's going to be useful so guys if you want to see any more projects similar to this one or even better please stay tuned subscribe ring a bell and any comments please comment away see you next time stay safe ciao